Happy New Year, everyone. This is an important video message. One that I'm excited about and also a little nervous about too. And I hope you'll stick with me in more ways than one. So our word this past week and for the year was transformation. And we talked about how if you want something that you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. We talked about how just as the caterpillar emerges from the cocoon, it has to press against it. And in that pressure, it builds the strength for the wings so the butterfly can actually fly. And I posed some questions that I asked you to ask yourself, but guess what? I asked myself too, who do I want to be? What do I want to change? What does 2018 look like when I think about it, the kind of life I want to create for myself? And so in asking myself those questions, I got a few clear answers. The one question was about, do I continue this video blog? And I didn't want to, I didn't want the answer to be, stop. I didn't want that to be the answer. And it wasn't. I clearly heard that I should continue doing this. But with one of my intentions for the new year being freedom, meaning less time in front of the computer and more time to enjoy and play, like I talked about in earlier weeks, I asked another question. Should I scale down? Maybe do one word a month? Answer was no. But then I asked, and it wasn't like I got audible answers, but you know you get an answer when you have peace, where something sets right in your spirit and you actually can feel happy about it. Because remember, truth sets us free. And I asked if I should scale down to every other week so that each word could be something we sink our teeth into for two weeks. And I got a clear answer that it was a yes. Now, in that, I realize our Sunday morning, every Sunday morning ritual will change a little bit. I hope you'll still stick with me. I hope that we can still continue this journey together. And I plan on posting every day inspiring messages about the words that are picked and that will keep the conversation going. But I know that I had to not be afraid to scale back for the fear of losing what I had built and what has already been developed. And then I learned um, a quote from Tracy Ellis Ross. If any of you watch Blackish or back in the day watched the show Girlfriends, I've always loved Tracy Ellis Ross. And here's a quote from her that really helped me. I am learning every day to allow the space between where I am and where I want to be not to terrify me. And in transformation, there is always that space between where I am and where I want to be. So I encourage all of us to not let that terrify us. And I am going to pick our first 2018 word of the weeks, two weeks. I will be back again in two weeks with a fresh brand spanking new word for us. But um, this is something we can sink our teeth into. So Holy Spirit and to our guides, I ask that you guide my fingers into a word that we can all settle into for the next two weeks that will bring us life and joy and peace. And the answer is, The word is forgiveness. We are so hard on ourselves. I've been saying that a lot lately. And we put so many demands on ourselves. And I believe that this forgiveness is a great way to start 2018. Forgiving ourselves, for how we perceive ourselves to have fallen short, for daring to think of ourselves as less 
than who we really are. Those harsh words, those harsh thoughts, those high demands. You know, maybe some of you with my announcement that I'm scaling back to every other week, maybe you need to cut yourself a break and consider cutting back on something too. The world will not end if you do. If you believe that God is a God of love, then there's lots of space. There's lots of grace. Ah, which actually brings me to another quote that I had printed out. I don't know who Kristen Lohr is, but she said this. Growth is uncomfortable because you've never been here before. You've never been this version of you before. So give yourself a little grace and breathe through it. And that speaks to me of self-forgiveness too. Give yourself a little grace and breathe through it. This is a year of transformation and of growth. And I think we all need to be a little bit more forgiving of ourselves and others and breathe through it. <laughs> Don't you love to wear those outfits that are a little bit forgiving? After my Aunt Joan's jams and cookies, my own mother's regatta cookies, feasts at every turn and parties galore, I have been wearing my forgiving clothes and lots of black. So put on your forgiving clothes of kindness and gentleness, long-suffering, peace, taking no account of a suffered wrong, loving on yourself. Forgive, 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 and breathe. Yeah, in those forgiving clothes, you can breathe a little. You don't wear your skinny jeans to Thanksgiving dinner, do you? Well, don't put yourself in a straight jacket this year either. I sure love and value our times together every week and I hope that in the comments you'll let me know that you're with me and that you are gonna stick with me every two weeks as we do a new word of the weeks. Love to you all. <laughs>